Hey oh guys, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. You're a returning subscriber as always, guys. Welcome back, and I do appreciate the support. Guys, listen, I've been talking about a lot of these smashing grabs and these steps where people just feel as though it's their right to go in there and rob people in broad daylight, looking stupid as can be, and nothing's going to happen to them. I, for one, am tired of it. And uh, a lot of other people are tired of it, too, especially some of you guys that watch these videos, man. You know, a long time ago, a certain person that used to be president that people are mixed about what they said, you know, about his uh, their opinion of him. Said when they catch people in these places, they need to shoot them down on the spot. I agree with that. And uh, a lot of people say, oh, that's not right. It's not un it's unconstitutional and all this other stuff. And that's not what America's founded on. Well, when you're losing millions of dollars in surplus and, and your insurance is rising because you have a business and somebody feels as though they want to come in there and take advantage of it. See if you feel the same way. They need to do something right now about all these people feeling as though they can walk into a store and steal something without uh, repercussions. Nobody cares about the law no more. And they damn sure don't care about police. If you don't believe me, look at this video and it'll show you everything you need to know. This right here. Is ninja sh 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 I don't want to cuss. Just look. All right, guys, that's the story, and uh, that's despicable to even see. It is. That's a young boy. 10.30 in the morning, this happened last Monday in Emeryville, uh, California. Now, speaking about the elephant in the room real quick, that police car was a ghost vehicle. I read the article on this, meaning they just parked it out front, you know, to deter crime. That might work in some areas. But when you're dealing with uh, folks that see the car sitting out there constantly, you know, people are casing these joints. You know what I mean? They know ain't no cop in there, ain't nothing. And through their desperation and greed, a lot of times, you know, they have to go in there and look around and make sure there ain't no cop. They probably talk and somebody's like, oh, the car's just there getting intel. This dude wasn't there brazen by himself. Snatched 50 phones, guys. They said he took 50 phones. Did you see how he was stacking them up and snatching them? No one ain't nobody going to do nothing to him. They need to change the laws immediately. I would have armed people in there and just blast his dumb ass. Don't even arrest him. Shoot him right on the damn spot. And have big signs everywhere. Make public announcements. If you steal, your ass is going to get killed. Another thing I do is that ski mask bullshit. If you run around here and you're doing these robberies and you got a ski mask on or just anywhere, you walk around with a ski mask on and it ain't cold outside and you commit a crime with said ski mask, you out of here. You out of here. 50 phones. I don't know. And then, then the thing that, that bothers me, and you know, I'm going to say what I got to say on here. It bothered me. That he was black doing that shit. Yeah. That bothered me because regardless of what you uh, say, race is a big issue and a separator in America. It is. Whether it's positive or negative. That dude right there is a reflection on all of us. And he need to be dealt with accordingly. You know, because there are a lot of us out here that are trying to do the right thing and just survive and pay our bills. And here you got some dude, some skin flint coming in there, not even having a weapon on him. Ain't that some shit? He ain't even have a weapon on him. What in there just snatched? Did you see all them people, nine black, looking at him, calling the cops, 
just watching him. 10.30 in the morning, he coming in, fuck your business up. Then his little ass putting the phones in, and walking like a damn seal with his ass out, going to the car like it ain't nothing. Park this car in the street, in the track, in the lane of track. Just park this car. Let me make a quick uh, withdrawal out the Apple store. I will bust his head in. I mean, I got to be, I, 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 this stuff be irritating me. I have Apple stock. Now think about this. Apple stock is what, $130 a share right now, which is high, you know, but think about it. He stole those phones and the value is not in the phones, it's in the business. See how ass backwards we are? He could have went and got a job and brought him a share of Apple stock a week. And could have had a nice little chunk of the business that he went in there and stole from. We have no sense of value. These young people have no sense of a uh, purpose. And nowadays, no sense of respect for other people or the law, period. They're just feral people just running around here. And it's all different races doing crazy stuff. This shit need to be nipped in the bud. We need to go down, dig deep in the roots and start extracting these assholes one by one. Who does that? Seriously. That's heartbreaking for me to see. Who does that? He's young. He's young doing that. Can be anything you want to be in life and you choose to do and be that. Somebody recorded his dumb ass. Didn't even care. Didn't even look. Really, somebody could have ran up there and just tackled his stupid ass because he wasn't even paying attention anyway. Did you see at the end, he snatched the one phone, snatched it so hard it flew on the ground. He don't care about it. He just walked out. You know how much damage you did? You ripped those security cables out and stuff. They got to get all of that fixed. Now, I don't know if they caught this guy or not. I, don't, it, I didn't see a report saying that he was caught. But for him to do that, just the courage to do that, that says a lot about how things are nowadays. And I'm going to tell you, you're going to start seeing, instead of them running up in stores, they're just going to run up on people in broad daylight. Like you're seeing that in all kinds of cities right now. And just throw people down and just go through their pockets while people are just walking by. Them. While they're screaming for help. Watch, you're going to see violence and all kinds of stuff like you've never seen before. And I'm going to tell you something. Them one percenters and those people up there that are on the higher, higher rungs of the ladder of success than us. Can't see far enough down. They just hear the rumblings, but they don't care because they don't live in areas and they don't covet what everybody's going after. So why change the laws? Just keep feeding a bunch of BS. Oh, we're taking care of it. Oh, this is wrong. Oh, I sympathize with you. Do you? Do you? This type of person right here will be emboldened the next time he does this. It might not be an Apple store next time. Might be your house. Think about that. People are running up in houses like they're running up in stores. And they don't have to. They don't have to. This is what they choose to do. Everybody want to be a bad boy. Well, bad shit need to happen. Real bad shit. Maybe we start flipping this. This type of behavior needs to be called out. Against those that look like us. From those that look like us. From a, ah, I said that wrong. From those of us that look like them. For real. We need to start coming together and start to say, hey, this is bullshit. Cut it out. Cut it out right now. You know what I'm saying? That guy felt as though he could go in that store and do something because he felt as though, and he was right, the employees are told not to do anything. And he'll risk his chances of survival and getting away. When he goes outside that door, the alarm was going off and he walked like he wasn't nothing doing it. Didn't even run in there and scamp around. He just, mm, 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 fuck y'all. Yeah, okay, well, fuck you. We need to get you out of here. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. That was sad to see.
from somebody that looks like me. I'm just keeping it real. I ain't mean to rhyme. 